Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Let's take a trip to the beach. My friends Mia and Will are there doing some beachcombing, which is just a funny expression for looking for mighty cool things on the beach. They have already collected six pieces of sea glass, eleven seashells, three coins that someone must have dropped, and fourteen really shiny rocks. Let's figure out how many items in all they have found. This sounds like an addition problem, but wait, there are more than two numbers that we are adding up. That's okay. We can add together as many numbers as we want. We can start by modeling with our base 10 blocks. Here are six unit cubes for the sea glass. Here's a 10 stick and one unit cube for the seashells. These are three unit cubes for the coins. And this is a 10 stick and four unit cubes for the rocks. There's a lot happening here, so let's get organized. We can group all the 10 sticks together and all the unit cubes together. This looks like more than 10 unit cubes. I know from my tens facts that six and four make 10. We can take the six green unit cubes and the four yellow unit cubes and exchange them for a 10 stick. Let's count up the rest of the unit cubes. Three and one make four, so we have four ones. Now let's move on to the tens place. We also have three tin sticks, one from the seashells, one from the rocks, and then the last one we made by trading in our unit cubes. Let's put a three in the tens place of our answer. So, six plus 11 plus three plus 14 equals 34. Mia and Will have already collected 34 different items. You did a great job adding them up. We used one of our tens facts, six plus four, to easily regroup 10 ones into a 10. When adding, regrouping is taking a group of 10 ones and replacing them with a 10 stick. It's time to do some of our own beach combing. Let's look for seashells. We've got a bunch. Let's see what's in our bag and separate them into buckets here. The red bucket has 23 shells, the green bucket has 34 shells, and the yellow bucket has 17 shells. We can add them all up to figure out how many shells we have in all. Let's write out our equation again, but this time we can try lining up each number based on place value, like this. This helps us stay organized. Now, all of the digits in the ones place, the three, four, and seven, are aligned. And all the digits in the tens place, the two, three, and one, are aligned. Now that we have our numbers aligned, it makes it much easier to spot some of our tens facts in the ones place. I see a three and a seven, and that makes 10. So now we know right away that we will need to regroup. We can cross out the three and the seven and put a little one above the tens place, so we remember to add it later. Now that we have regrouped the three and the seven, we just have a four left in the ones place. You can write that in the ones place of our answer now. Great! Lastly, let's add the tens. One plus two is three, three plus three is six, and another one is seven. That means we have seven tens. You can write that in the tens place. Great work! 23 plus 34 plus 17 is 74. We have 74 shells in all. I wonder what else is on this beach. Whoa, look at this. It's a bottle that is washed up, and there's a piece of paper in it. It says, I am a friendly pirate, but I have lost me treasure. If you find it, send me a message back. You'll know the treasure is mine because there are... 42 gold coins, 31 rubies, 29 emeralds, and 15 pearls. Whoa, this is awesome. I don't see a treasure anywhere, but we can find how many pieces of treasure this pirate has lost in all. Let's add them up. Here is our equation. Remember how we made some easy tens before by finding tens facts in the ones place? Well, we can do that again. Here, I see a nine and a one. So... We know that will be an extra 10 that we need to add. Let's make a note of that by adding a little one on top of the tens column. Now, add the remaining digits in the ones place. Two and five is seven, so we can put a seven in the ones place of our answer. Now to the tens. 
Let's use some more facts that you might know. I see a 3 and a 2, and that makes 5. I also see a 4 and a 1. That's another 5. Now, that makes adding easier. We just need to add 5 plus 5 plus 1. 5 plus 5 is 10, and 10 plus 1 is 11. By putting an 11 in the tens place, we are actually putting a 1 in the hundreds place and a 1 in the tens place. Look at the number we have ended with, 117. So, 42 plus 31 plus 29 plus 15 is 117. The pirate lost 117 pieces of treasure in all. I hope he finds them. All right, great job today. You learned to add more than two numbers together. We did it by modeling with base 10 blocks, organizing our equation by lining up place value, and looking for easy numbers to add, such as making 10s or 5s. See you mighty soon!